this is a 42% noir and in this tutorial I'd like to show you how to use the G2FF external so let's open the help file um, here you can see the patch uh, with some externals this is the G2FF external which calculates uh, the physics of the ROPs and you can see here is the G2 run something which we will use in order to get uh, the vertexes from from the shapes. I will talk about that a bit later. And we also use the uh, easy controller to control some parameters, for example, the force y mapped here, positions, and so on. So I will turn on the rendering, and we can see here the two primitive spheres that we created. Yeah, this one and this one and we output the vertexes the matrix that contains the vertexes we then pack them again in a matrix keep in mind that it's four planes in order to be compatible with uh, the vitropf uh, matrix representation but we can see that the matrix first from the from the from the grid shape looks like that we can use cell block here yeah. it's a very good way to see what's going on and it's a basically two-dimensional matrix with four planes uh, and here we can see that we transformed it to one column that contains 16 uh, vertexes so each one has three uh, three plans of X, Y, Z and the empty plan and we do it for the the other grid shape again and we connect them so what we get is uh, two columns that each one of them is the edge of the rope of the rope that we want so and each row is one rope so we eventually will get 16 ropes and that's what we feed into the g external object so we see that 32 is the numbers of links that each rope will have and 16 is the number of ropes so if we connect uh, the matrix we can see that each rope is a row uh, let's initial initialize the object this is a number moving whilst the ropes are moving too and we can change it for example to 16 over 16 so only 16 links at each one which is still very good it looks a bit different but you can adjust the parameters and uh, let's ok let's go back to 32 and we can look at the parameters so here is the force yeah so the force is external and we can choose other forces uh, yeah and uh, we can also put a floor let's let's say this is minus um, say 2.5 okay so now we have a flow at minus 2.5 let's hit the flow one important uh, parameter is uh, the bond K, which is and the strength of the springs between the links it increases the uh, the strength so the rope becomes more rigid yeah. and also if I move the force it even looks more like a, like a rope and uh, 
we can also change the length of the rope it's a very long rope an important parameter is the fast this will tell us how many time steps we will have in each rendering trigger so at each rendering trigger in this case we will have nine time steps if I set it to one that will lead to very slow optimization basically we are in space or almost in space <laughs> if we increase it the optimization will be very fast So um, yeah, you can you can then draw it to here. It's drawn to uh, to rocks, but you can do other stuff. For example, we can use uh, the mesh, and let's just connect it to the vertexes of the mesh. And you can see we have now sleeve. So that's all for now. I hope you will enjoy using it. And in uh, another tutorial, I will show you how to use it for different ideas. And also, we will talk about the algorithm because I think it's very interesting to see how we can tweak the mathematical representation of the physics to to get uh, a very fast algorithm that can uh, simulate drops or also close in the future. See you soon.